No more standing out in line. Only 13 days to go. the other day. He had some hair, like a wild bird's nest, sticking straight up in the air. How did he do that? And what was he muttering? Something about a coffin or a coffer? Want to grow stronger?
I can't take this curse anymore. I need Cardesia's elixir. He said something about Cardesia that sounds like a woman's name. Cardesia. I know her. That's the apothecary in Yon. who was calling out your name. He seemed ill. I don't suppose you know him. What? You... you ran into Taylor? He was in a bad state, wasn't he? Remember the medicine I had you gather ingredients for? I didn't tell you, but it's for him. You haven't given it to him? Not yet, but I have a reason. You see, the problem with this medicine is that it only works immediately after it's been concocted. I thought of heading to Polta with the ingredients and growing it there, but unfortunately the village doesn't have the facilities or equipment I need. So you're saying that you can only make it here, but at the same time he needs to take it soon after it's made. If you want, it's definitely worth giving it a shot. I might make it in time on my chocobo. What? You would do that for me? I can't promise I'll get there fast enough. 
But if you're willing to try, so am I. Can you mix up a batch now? Of course I can. If you'll just give me a minute, I'll prepare some right away. I'll bet my reputation that I can fix that curse. Curse? I thought he had some kind of illness. It's a curse. Say Cardesia. Oh, finally. I can say goodbye to this cursed life. You don't know how relieved I am. Just hush and drink it down. Please, can you tip it toward my mouth so I might have a sip? The goddess is waiting for me. What do you mean? Never mind that. Please, I just need a little taste. I've been waiting so long for this. <laughs> Why am I still alive? Is this not poison? Poison? No, it's medicine. She didn't tell you anything, did she? Cartesia has felt nothing but hatred toward me all these years. And why wouldn't she? I killed the love of her life. So I told her, if she ever wanted to have her revenge, all she would need to do is to conjure up some poisonous brew and hand it to me. When you approached me with a concoction, I thought it was finally my time to die. If taste could kill, I'd be dead in a second. But this poison has no effect on me. She must be losing her touch. Why are you so convinced that she was trying to poison you? Maybe the medicine is what she said it was, something to lift the curse from you. Nope, no way. I've lived a long, long life. There's no way Cardesia would help me see more days. Not after what I did to her. Or perhaps her plan isn't to kill me, but to keep me alive so I can live with the guilt of my deeds. What do you think? How would I know? All I can say is this. After taking your medicine, you're looking less pale. You seem to be breathing a lot easier, and your pain has gone. Am I wrong? Huh? Uh, well, now that you mention it, uh, I wish I knew what was going on inside her head. Why would she forgive me? I killed someone she loved. I thought... It... I, I thought that drinking this concoction would put us both out of our misery. It was supposed to kill me and bring her peace, knowing she had avenged his death. If you really want to die, no one's stopping you. But you're still here. Which would suggest to me, there must have been a reason for you to keep going. You've spent years with this burden of a curse. It must have been harder to live than die. But you did choose life. Maybe you were hoping Cardesia would try to kill you. That way you'd escape the pain. But not only that, you'd be free of your guilt. And that would be the only way that she could forgive you. But things have changed. She let you live with the pain, but now she's saved you. I think that means she's letting go of... That's not possible! How could she? Oh, what have I done? Cardesia, my old friend, will you ever be able to forgive me? I beg of Being 
forgiven for such a hate. You got the medicine to tail in time. Yes, but what's this about you trying to poison him? Oh, he told you about that. Uh, let me explain everything from the beginning. I've known Taylor since we were kids. We called ourselves the Three Musketeers, and we were inseparable. One and one makes two. Who was the third? Someone very special. Taylor's best friend, and the boy I eventually fell in love with. So. 
Sadly, the three musketeers didn't last very long after that. When Taylor found out about us, he was so hurt. Much more than I thought he'd be. Oh, Taylor killed him, didn't he? Yes, in a fit of rage or grief, I lost the love of my life, and shortly after, Taylor became cursed with a disease. Over time, it caught up with me, too. <coughs> It's hard to believe we were all such great friends. I don't know what to say. It's all right. Really, I'm okay now. Things have been going well since then. To prove my point, I got to meet your beautiful angel, didn't I? Tomorrow, I'll be able to face it without regret. That's one thing I'm sure of. Do you need a cure? If you're ever in need of more medicine, just come see me. And bring the... Are you lost? Oh, gracious me, where did you come from? If you're that jumpy, maybe you shouldn't wander out here at night. I'm not wandering. I'll have you know that I'm pursuing science. Important science. Yes, I'm on these planes for a reason. I'm here to learn more about the breeding habits of the fuzzy sheep. Look, you're dedicated. That's great. But is it worth dying for? There are monsters out here. Yes, I know. It is believed that fuzzy sheep mate only at night. I've tried on a number of occasions to track them back to the breeding grounds, but each time... A marauding monster has driven me away! I've been forced to make my observations from this distant spot, so as not to endanger the sheep by attracting more monsters. However, it is dangerous work. That sounds foolhardy to me. 
I accept the risks. And do you mind? I have work to do. Unless, that is, you would care to help me. Maybe, but you're putting yourself in too much danger. Oh, I know it's reckless, but I have no choice. The whole of science eagerly awaits my results. Why don't I make the observations for you? I can keep the monsters away at the same time, and then let you know what I see. That sound good? But... but... Oh, dash it. Very well. It is far from my... But what choice do I have? Monsters seem drawn to me like flies to a pile of behemoth dung. As far as I can tell, the fuzzy sheep spend the night amongst the ruins atop that hill. I hope you will meet with more success than I. I'll do my best. Now, will you go? Fine. I shall await your report in Arya's...
We can do this. your great discovery, the fabled nesting grounds of the fuzzy sheep, found at last. Your name shall go down in history, mark my word. All I did was lend someone a hand and stumble across the place by accident. It wasn't anything to... You are too humble. Perhaps this means nothing, but do you ever get the feeling you're being watched? I do.
so you've found where Yul's flowers grow, have you? Well done. North of here lies a desolate land that's littered with the hulks of downed airships. Hardly anyone goes there, apart from the curious and the... If you manage to trek across that land, you'll eventually reach one particular... There's a man who lives in that wreckage. A recluse who's turned his back on the rest of human society. Of course, he's not the only recluse to make his way out to the wildlands, but the, I hear he used to be a pilot. We can do this.
stampede.
yours. 